Invisibility, shape-shifting and changing appearance might seem like some kind of superhuman ability, but in many animals it's actually the reality. Different species ranging from cuttlefish through to crabs, caterpillars through to frogs and fish can change their appearance for many different functions. So why do they do it and how does it work? Well, in many cases the reason is for deception and for disguise. Cephalopods, like some octopus and cuttlefish, can change their body patterns and their colours in a variety of ways, but in literally just a few seconds. And in doing that, they can resemble features of the marine environment where they live and hide themselves from the eyes of hungry predators. Other marine animals, like crabs and some prawns, can change colour, but over much longer time periods, over hours, days and even weeks but the effect is much the same, they can hide themselves in the environment where they live. Other animals use colour change in a much more aggressive way, and the fangblenny is one such example. It's a species of fish that lives on some coral reefs, and it matches the appearance of some cleaner fish. And those cleaner fish sit on their cleaning stations waiting for other fish, the clients, to visit them, who then have their dead scales, parasites and mucus removed. So the cleaner fish gets a free meal and the client gets a makeover. The fangblenny though changes colour to mimic the appearance of a cleaner fish and in doing so can bite big chunks of flesh from the side of a client which comes to visit it thinking it's a cleaner fish. And colour change is also used to control the attention of unwanted suitors. So some damselflies, for example a species from Australia, match the vivid electric blue colour of the males in the population. And by doing so they can control harassment and avoid the attention of unwanted mates. However, when the female does want to mate, she can change her appearance to a kind of a green-grey colour and in doing so tells the males that she's in fact a female and ready to mate. So colour change is used in many different ways, but how does it actually work? Well, the key comes down to particular cells called chromatophore cells. And they act like little packages containing pigment of different colours. So when the animal wants to change colour, it can either expand or contract different chromatophore cells, spreading and moving pigment over its body, changing its appearance. Colour change then is used in many different ways, and it's no surprise that Given how effective animals are, many humans want to understand how it works to more effectively design visual displays like televisions and other types of equipment.